Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem Awashai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled birds, the Israelite foreigners, and to the Akwaf that are listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolma from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson in truth. And this is for the Critical Race History channel. Um, and this is a clip that comes of what you see off of memory TV. It's in, 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 you know, it's an Arabic channel and, you know, in the spirit of uh, GMS Arabia, uh, I am doing this lesson. Because this is, and this was June 11th, 2021. So the works that the men of the Lord has been putting in, you know, um, ever since the apostles went live on the, you know, or came on to the, to the YouTube, um, the vibration of the truth has changed the world and made a lot of prophecies speed up and things to happen. All right. And, um, and Esau Edom is being exposed. And this is Ezekiel 35 and 1, and it reads... Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it and say unto it, Thus saith Yahweh power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate, and I will lay waste, and I will lay, lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. And they, this did happen before. You know, going and you, this is what started the dark ages, but this prophecy was wasn't really about then. That was just a, 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 a inkling of what's going to happen, because Esau Edom, you know, he got dominion over the world through Alexander uh, uh, of Macedon, who was also an Edomite. He can be traced back to Esau Edom, hence the reason why they removed the apocrypha from the holy scriptures from the from the. Uh, from the, and said it, that it wasn't accepted canon when it was, you know, whatever the hell canon is supposed to mean. It was part of the Gospels and always was. But they removed it because it identified the white people as the so-called white man, so-called self-proclaimed white people as the Edomites. So they removed it. You know, <laughs> it's conveniently everything that proves who they are, they conveniently got away with, done away with. But then people say that the book, the about the learned elders of Zion is not is not accurate. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but um, they went down. You know, Israel, the Israelites actually took down Rome from within, being a part of their military, you know, police, so to speak. If you looked at it from today's aspect, and um, and the, thus that's thus started the Holy Roman Empire. Thus started the Dark Ages. That's why they they just don't want to talk about the Dark Ages and just say not much happened because the Edomites were forced into the Caucasus Mountains. And uh, and they were there for roughly the thousand year period that uh, the so-called Negroes who were the Israelites built up Europe and built up, you know, all those famous places where people go to like Britain, Scotland, Ireland, Spain, Portugal. They were ruling those places. All right. And um, in the late 1300s, the Edomites began to creep back into power. Until they uh, got fully into power, coming in the end of the uh, the 14th century, going into the 15th century, and thus started the Renaissance, which means rebirth, the rebirth of the so-called white man. All right, and um, and then he self-proclaimed himself a Jew, a converted, and we're going to get some evidence of that right about now. The Palestinians and Arabs are Semites themselves. That anti-Semitism is. Through, throughout much of history. Uh, now let me correct that before he goes any further. The word is actually Shem. Sem or Semite is actually a made up word. But he's telling the truth. This, they, they are indeed Shemitic. And they are the sons of Ishmael. But Ishmael was also rejected. No one understand that. All right. The covenant is not with Ishmael. The covenant was, is with Israel. And what he's going to tell you is true. They're converts. They're, they're Edomite converts in the land. OK. And that portion is true. But remember, Ishmael also is rejected, the son of the bondwoman. Just remember that. Uh, a 
uniquely European phenomena. It was essentially a way of saying, um, let me take it, was, it back. It was a way of persecuting uniquely uh, European. Palestinians and Arabs are Semites themselves, that anti-Semitism is, through, throughout much of history, uh, a uniquely European phenomena. It was essentially a way of saying, um, it, was, it was a way of persecuting a group of people for the false historical accusation, this false historical allegation that they had um, descended from... Uh, uh, historic Palestine. The reality, of course, is, is as most historians recognize, that much of European Jews and much of the European Jewish colonizers of Palestine are all descendants of medieval converts to Judaism. And that, uh, uh, re uh, realistically, um, the blood of the ancient Israelites most likely flows in the blood of Palestinians if... Um, now that is completely made up because the Palestinians are, are of Ishmael, which is of Muhammad. And they went into that land uh, during the Crusades. You know, Muhammad came on the scene around the 6th century. So they don't belong there either. All right? And just because they're Shemitic, there are eight Shemitic races of people, but only one is chosen. And his people are not it either. Now, will I say that, that what's being done to them as a people is wrong at the hand of the uh, imposter Jewish people that are in the land. Yes, I will. I will agree with him. What what they're doing to the Palestinians is completely, completely wrong. But that does not negate nor take away the fact that that's not their homeland neither. All right. Ishmael was not from from the land of Canaan. That wasn't his hand. The land, the land of Canaan was was the Hamites, so-called Africans lived in in that land. Israel, you know, that whole area that was full of what you refer to today as Africans before the Israelites took it over. They drove uh, because that's what Palestinian means. Philistine and Philistines come from come out of the line of Canaan out of Ham. All right. Zionism is a supremacist ideology. Agreed. Um, isn't ironic that also Jews are the targets. And by the way, this is legitimate. Anti-Semitism is a real thing. I may not necessarily agree with its relevance to the issue of Palestine, but anti-Semitism is a very real thing. And there are white supremacists uh, out there who hold Jewish lives and Muslim lives and Palestinian lives with equal contempt. And that's just a house divided. That's Edomites against Edomites. But that was enough said. He just, but he proved, he said that they were uh, converts. And um, this is the book, The 13th Tribe. Let's see if we can... Some light on that by Arthur Kostler, who mysteriously, he and his wife held hands and went out their fourth story condo in, uh, in that flat in London and met their demise. You know, I know that the Messiah had nothing to do with that after he they exposed this truth. All right. I know the Messiah is completely innocent of any. Uh, but this is on page 15. All right. Let's see if we can just read it through the through the camera lens here. And it says, our investigations cannot go into our cannot go into our problems pertaining to the his, history of ideas. But we must call the reader's attention to the matter of the Khazar Kingdom's state religion. It was the Jewish faith that became the official religion of the ruling strata of society. Needless to say, the acceptance of the Jewish faith as a, as a state religion of an ethically non-Jewish people could be subject of interest, interesting speculations. We shall, however, confine ourselves to the remarks, to the remark that this official conversation in defiance of Christian proselytizing by the Byzantine tinium, the Muslim influence from the East, and spite the political pressures of the powers to the religion, which had no support from any political power, but was persecuted by nearly all, has come to surprise all historians concerned with the Khazars and cannot can be considered accidental, but we must re be regarded as a sign of independent policy pursued by that kingdom. All right. So they converted to Judaism and this wouldn't be the first time 
because that happened. The Edomites converted yeah. to to Judaism or or following the law, statutes, and commandments. So so called back during the time of John Hyrcanus, which was one of the grandsons of the Maccabees. Like we said, it was very important to remove the apocrypha to hide these uh these troops. All right. So and now and now we're going to read the final and most powerful witness which is the Bible itself and we're going to read Ezekiel the 36th chapter. And it's Ezekiel 36 and uh 2 and it reads, "Thus saith Yahweh power because the enemy have said against you, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. See now the Edomites possess the land of Israel, all right? Like it says in Joel, that it would be divided between basically Ishmael and Esau. Huh. And who's in that land? Ishmael and Esau. Said they have, well, basically it said they have parted my land. So the real Israelites got sold into slavery, scattered to the four corners of the earth, and Israel got parted. And who did they get parted by? Ishmael and Esau. And they're fighting over a land that, that belongs to neither one of them. All right, back to the scripture. Let's jump down to uh, verse five. All right, which fulfills this prophecy with the Belfour Declaration. All right, because they wrote paperwork and assigned themselves into this land and said that that's their land and that's them. But this guy bear witness that they're not connected to Abraham, Isaac, and, and Jacob. They're connected to Abraham, Isaac, and Esau. All right, but this is Ezekiel 36 and five, and it reads, Thus saith Yahweh power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. See, that would be you Palestinians, you other Shemitic people, all right? And against all Idumia, first and foremost. Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom, all right? Which have appointed my land into their possession. The Bible bear witness that the Edomites have, have appointed the land of the Lord into their possession, and they did so, these 1948ers. All right. With the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So the it being the Israelites, the real children, sons and daughters of Jacob have been casted out and the land of Israel is full of imposters. So with that, I hope this was an edifying and informative, um, you know, lesson. Call hello. How about you? I was shy. Bashan Wa Kwam Yasharala.